So I absolutely believe, and again, simply my hypothesis, he is innocent until proven guilty that he will be um, arrested and well, indicted on sex trafficking charges. I have no doubt um, about that. And I do believe that he was most likely the kingpin um, of this. These girls. Do not do your time going by Brother Love. Brother Love is not a good code name for prison. I'm out. Well, it's not uncommon for allegations in civil lawsuits to be considered by federal investigators and federal prosecutors uh, and reviewed to determine whether or not a federal crime may have been committed. And that seems to be what happened. We're on live now from Fox as Diddy's home in Los Angeles has been raided by uh, Homeland Security. It's been a few months since Diddy's reputation took a major hit after he was slapped with multiple lawsuits accusing him of rape, drug abuse and more. Following the raids at his homes, everyone's wondering what's next. And according to multiple FBI agents, it's probably jail. A few months ago, Sean Diddy Combs was known by many names and titles, but rapist and sex trafficker wasn't one of them. All that changed in November after Cassie Ventura leveled some pretty hefty accusations at her ex-boyfriend. A lawsuit filed against Sean Diddy Combs accuses the music performer and executive of rape, physical abuse and sex trafficking. The singer Cassie says the incidents occurred throughout her 10-year relationship with Combs. That was followed by a slew of other lawsuits, which came to a peak when ex-producer Lil Rod filed a 74-page lawsuit against Diddy, including a list of his many crimes and naming several associates. So if we think about the possibility of a sex trafficking investigation, sex trafficking-related charges, if we go to December 2023, uh, there was a woman who accused Combs and former Bad Boy Entertainment president Harvey Pierre uh, and another person of sex trafficking and gang raping her when she was 17 years old. Of course, Diddy is denying all of the allegations, calling them a money grab scheme since he settled Cassie's $30 million lawsuit within a day. But the federal raids at his Miami and Los Angeles homes mean all eyes are on Diddy, with many believing it's only a matter of time till he ends up in jail. Former CIA and FBI special agent Tracy Walder sat down for a discussion on law and crime and insisted that there was no doubt that Diddy would be behind bars soon. So I absolutely believe, and again, simply my hypothesis, he is innocent until proven guilty that he will be um, arrested and well, indicted on sex trafficking charges. I have no doubt um, about that. And I do believe that he was most likely the kingpin um, of this. These girls... She pointed out that the investigation against him is spanning multiple states, which means he was running a wide operation. She also went on to say that part of the reason people like Puffy get away with their actions for so long is others turning a blind eye to get ahead. Regarding whether the feds would have trouble getting him back if he tried to jump ship to a country the USA doesn't have an extradition agreement with, Walder is confident that he would be sent back. Because of the public nature of this, I have a very hard time believing that a country would allow his plane to land with him on it in their country. They don't have to let him land if they don't want to. And so I think that it would be very difficult for him to be able to land in an inhospitable country simply because they don't want him. We do have extradition treaties with more countries than I think people would think. And typically they will send folks back to us as long as we take the death penalty off of the table. And I don't believe that this is a death penalty case. It's Southern District of New York. And so I believe that whether we have an extradition treaty or not with whatever country he may or may not go to, um, they will send him back. Meanwhile, former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe also gave his two cents, discussing how Diddy's lawyers basically confirmed that part of the reason the feds raided his houses was the accusations leveled against him in the multiple civil lawsuits filed in the past few months. Well, it's not uncommon for allegations in civil lawsuits to be considered by federal investigators and federal prosecutors uh, and reviewed to determine whether or not a federal crime may have been committed. And that seems to be what happened here. I thought it was interesting that the attorney's statement really basically confirmed for the public that some of the investigative interest was likely generated from these lawsuits, which is interesting because several of the lawsuits allege activity that likely would fall within the parameters of 
sex trafficking. Several of these women claim to have been transported from one state to another and then drugged and assaulted. Um, or uh, his former girlfriend who claims to have been forced to perform sex acts with different people in different states as they traveled around the country. So I think it was uh, a, a, an unfortunate almost admission uh, by the lawyer. I mean, not that it has legal significance, but it certainly puts us in a position to speculate more accurately about what's actually driving this investigation. He also pointed out that two search warrants were necessary because once they investigated one of his homes, the rapper would be on high alert and could cover up crucial evidence at other locations. He also said that his defense attorney's statement was just trying to do public relations and turn Diddy's image into the victim because this investigation isn't the first time the rapper has been investigated and his history with assault classifies him as armed and dangerous as far as a search goes. Now once, and finally, you know, the roundhouse swing he took at the uh, show of force, really kind of classic defense attorney tactics to try to turn around a bad press day. But in fact, Mr. Combs has a long history of being investigated for things like assaults, harassment, threatening people with baseball bats and kettlebells and things like that. And the way it works in law enforcement is when you are planning a search warrant, if you have any information, and it doesn't have to be a criminal conviction, just intelligence, that indicates that someone who's going to be at that residence may have a violent history or have armed themselves against people in the past, you're going to automatically qualify that search warrant or classify it as armed and dangerous. And that classification alone brings an additional level of protection, of tactical preparedness to ensure that there's no problems, that everything is done in as safe a way as possible. So I think what we saw yesterday was understandable in the context of an armed and dangerous warrant. And it might have been fine if the feds didn't find anything, except we already know that several weapons were found inside his house following the raid. Former NYPD detective Derek Parker listed out how the feds would use the pictures and videos they found to trace their sources. It'll be a much bigger web than they might have expected. What happens here is that the feds, the federal government started a case with him. Apparently the search warrant that had his house was in Miami and LA was pre-planned already. They knew they were going to do that. So they have a much bigger case um, right now with the guns. They're going to check them. They're going to trace them, see if they were used in any crimes. Uh, they're going to go over um, anything about uh, cooperators that are cooperating with them. They're going to be talking to a lot of people about cer certain criminal acts that he might have committed and then go from there. And what about the videos? Well, they're going to sift through those videos. They're going to look at them and then see if there's any criminality on those videos and then they'll, they'll go from there. On how Diddy would end up, well, according to him, it's not looking too great for him. It's not looking that great. Uh, right now, I know that uh, his, he has higher powered attorneys and right. uh, with all these allegations that are coming out against him and against other people, a lot of people are starting to be very nervous about what's going on. He also talked about how Diddy's former rival and Death Row Records founder, Suge Knight, had warned him from prison, saying that his life was in danger. He's probably saying, I can't speak for what he's saying. Yeah. Because of everything that's going on right now, there's probably a lot of people that are upset about what's going on. And then, you know, it, even yesterday, I started seeing things on online where people are starting to make threats towards uh, 50 and, D and Diddy is starting to go back. And this is how it starts in hip hop. It starts right on social media and then it goes into the streets. Former FBI agent Nicole Parker told Fox News that this was one swamp Puffy won't be able to wade out of. She said, you can pay off folks in civil lawsuits to make them go away. Parker said, but that doesn't work in a sound criminal investigation, especially on a federal level when it comes to sex trafficking allegations. After the Epstein debacle, folks know you won't be able to just make these cases disappear. This comes after ex-producer Rodney Jones accused him of running a sex trafficking ring involving minors and trying to coerce him to have a gay affair with him. Parker said, they'll use a lot of the same evidence to build their case. Anyone is innocent until proven guilty, but the evidence is mounting. Coming back to Tracy Walder, she also listed out how a federal investigation in Diddy's case might work. She discussed how search warrants such as these are usually hand in hand with an arrest, but this wasn't the case for Puffy. She pointed out that it might have been a necessary measure to stop his operation. Typically, Jesse, it's in conjunction with an arrest. But I started thinking about this a little bit more last night, and I was, was thinking that if he has videos and or his associates have videos and they are attempting to distribute those of young 
male children or female children, that means that a child is in imminent danger. Mm. And so part of me wonders if this was done to stop that um, and that they will get to the arrest obviously at some point um, because you know as you mentioned typically these these warrants are served and there's usually an indictment that goes you know hand in hand with that at the same time so in my opinion it's not unheard of it's just a little bit unusual we don't typically right. see this anytime we did raids um, at the FBI of, of this nature we ha also had an arrest warrant uh, for the individual as well and so it is unusual, but I don't want to say it's unheard of. And again, I'm just speculating, but part of me wonders if this was still actively being distributed. Um, and if it is, they need to shut that down immediately. It's important to note that Cassie's lawyer released a statement when the rappers' homes were searched, basically supporting the feds and calling for justice. We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Now, again, in light of that settlement, settlement doesn't necessarily mean you're saying Combs is completely innocent. It's you've agreed to resolve the issue. But Walder pointed something out about the statement, saying that the fact that they released it months after they settled the lawsuit implies that Cassie or one of Diddy's other victims might have provided Homeland Security with documented evidence. Yeah, I thought that that statement was interesting. Um, my, my question about it, though, is did he tip them off? Did he provide them with information? Um, you know, did Cassie Ventura or any of these individuals involved in these civil suits also provide evidence along with that to build this criminal case because obviously those two things are separate so in my opinion in listening to that statement it actually sounds like maybe they did um and you know that's incredible that they did that um because i believe that cassie venture was absolutely a victim of pretty horrific uh, things and if she was able to document all of that and provide evidence then that absolutely would go to building his criminal case. She said that the investigation will probably move quickly from here, with a possible indictment next in line. Walder discussed how the investigation will probably pull other people under the water, starting with his sons. The investigation would start at the top of the brass, moving down as required. Finally, she said that considering that Diddy has a history of threatening people who disagree with him, it's very possible that people testifying against him would be provided some sort of protection. I agree. I think um, we will probably see the arrest of one or both of his sons because I, I believe that they, based on evidence in cases that we've seen in the past from civil perspective, they have been allegedly involved in this. But at the same time, too, um, I think that there may be a lot of people who have associated with him um, in his circle that are probably scared right now um, because they may have had some involvement in this as well. And so in my opinion, I think they will start at the top obviously arresting Diddy um, or his sons. And from there, in my opinion, they may try to plea. I don't think he's gonna completely avoid jail time or anything like right. that if he's indicted, but maybe they will try to plea to get names of other individuals that are associated with this. But again, completely my hypothesis, Jesse. Meanwhile, Diddy has been trying to do as much PR as possible with TMZ catching him looking worried on the phone at the time of the raids. But legal affairs journalist Megan Cuniff said that the fact that Diddy hired a DA meant he realized things were getting serious, and it's no longer a PR matter. Now we are two days removed from this story. Remember, yesterday we also brought you that new video TMZ obtained, uh, both of where Diddy is, at least uh, briefly, uh, there, that cell phone video uh, of him walking outside of the airport there in Miami. And then we got video TMZ obtained inside the Holby Hills mansion. Uh, and you can see so much of his kind of personal items uh, strewn about in what looked like a, a bedroom and what looked like kind of a personal library as well. I want to put this tweet up here. That's the TMZ video that we found. Uh, I believe this was obtained by them Monday night of Diddy kind of just loitering and lingering there so it seems like he's on the phone outside of miami's airport as well so um let's get the latest on this yet again uh, we've been relying uh, on the really intrepid reporting uh, of legal affairs journalist megan cuniff uh, we're going to bring her in in just a moment that's the video remember of inside of the holby hills mansion finally 
Diddy's ex-bodyguard is also sure that Diddy's end is coming soon. Yeah, and I, and I meant that to mean that before in the civil cases, he wasn't involved at all. And now that he's been involved, it just signifies that they're, they're hiring people who haven't uh, experience in federal criminal investigations. And that's what he is. So for him to not be involved in the civil cases before this, I think is standard. But I, I also think what, what his involvement, his new involvement shows is just how this is becoming uh, a, a big deal for, for Diddy. And he understands that it's not so much a public relations game anymore, but an in investigation in a, in a uh, criminal case that he needs to deal with. And he said the only reason the feds didn't arrest Diddy is because there's more to come. So now the reason they haven't went out the form because there's more to get into. It's more to get into. We, it's not only the sex trafficking, it's the alleged, the guns, the alleged drugs. And I'm saying alleged because they haven't came out with any formal charges yet. But when they come out with some charges, bro, and you hit it, the Southern District of New York do not play. Pretty much every person with ties to law enforcement is confident that Diddy is going to be arrested soon. But will he be able to slip out of this one? Or did he piss off too many people in power? Only time will tell. That's it for now. Don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.